good Thursday evening monitoring a storm system that's going to impact the weather Friday and Saturday across the Brazos Valley. Now the main impact is going to be widespread showers. We have high impacts from the rain Friday evening into Saturday morning. Now the temperature is going to be on the cool side. That rain going to keep those temperatures in the 40, but luckily we're not expecting any ice here, so no impacts from any ice or snow. That is the good news because a lot of people are going to start traveling over the next 24 to 48 hours. Temperatures out there 54 degrees in the Brazos Valley. Notice the winds flipping around to the southeast. That's allowing those temperatures to begin to warm up just a little bit compared to what we were dealing with this time last night. Now we're not dealing with any rain out there yet. Radar shows absolutely nothing going on across the Brazos Valley, but if we shift to the west just a few hundred miles, we notice in that storm system working its way into northwestern New Mexico. This is going to drastically impact our weather beginning tomorrow. So let's take a look at what this storm system is going to do. It's going to eventually work its way towards the east into the Texas Panhandle heading into Friday morning. You can see that moisture really starting to increase across the Texas Hill Country. Not much going on here in the Brazos Valley Friday morning. Now, as we head into Friday evening, we start to see some showers across the Brazos Valley, especially western parts of the viewing area as this upper level low works its way into northwestern Texas and that uptick in the moisture going to continue to increase Friday evening into Saturday morning. Notice midnight and pretty good coverage here in the Brazos Valley of some showers, isolated storms possible to not talking severe weather, but a couple run rumbles of thunder are possible and we're going to see those rain chances continue as this upper level low starts to sink over the Brazos Valley. Notice Saturday morning that upper level low starting to work its way into the Brazos Valley. Let's take a little bit of a closer look. Pretty good area of rain Saturday morning, especially from Bryan College Station towards the west. Uh, that rain going to continue continue period periodically into the afternoon hours on Saturday 430. You can see that we have a good concentration of showers from Bryan College Station back towards the west and notice that area of rain as well as the cloud cover keeping those temperatures in the upper 40s where as areas east of Bryan College Station where there is not as much rain falling and the cloud cover is just a little bit thinner temperatures going to get up well into the 50s so a pretty tight temperature gradient just based on where that precipitation is taking a look at those precipitation chances low tomorrow morning really starts to increase after lunchtime and by dinner time or by the time you're leaving work tomorrow we have a pretty good chance for some rain showers those rain showers actually become likely heading into late Friday night into early Saturday morning and a gradual downward trend in the precipitation chances as we head throughout the day on Saturday. Still going to deal with that cloud cover though. Now, how much are we talking about? Well, it's looking like generally about a quarter of an inch of rain possible. A few areas may pick up half an inch, but that's going to be just dependent upon where we get some of that heavier shower, possibly thunderstorm activity. But overall, broad brushing the Brazos Valley about a quarter of an inch of rain and we will take it again still below average rain for 2019. So we will get any amount that we can get a 70% chance of showers tomorrow. A downward trend of those precip chances Saturday, but still at 50% and look at that holiday forecast. We're talking about Christmas being in the low 70s, so it's not really going to